New York City, Comedy Central presents Kevin Hart. me feeling tall up here. Stop it, making me think I'm sexy or something. How's everybody doing? Good? Is everybody good? Yeah. Ah, oh, I just got married, people. That's what I'm gonna talk about. I didn't want y'all to clap. I was just telling y'all what happened. It's not like I'm that happy about it. God, boy, all we do is argue. That's it. We was boyfriend and girlfriend, we was happy. And now all we do is argue. You ever argue with a female, and in the middle of the argument, you no longer feel safe? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because of her actions, like she might start pacing back and forth real fast, breathing out her nose. You know what my girl do when she get mad? She start talking in the third person. That's scary as hell, because that's her way of telling me that from this point on, she's not responsible for none of her actions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious though, it's like, it's like she forget that she real for like five minutes, she just start yelling, you know? You know, Kevin, you know what your problem is? See, you don't think Tori crazy, do you? <laughs> uh, baby, I, I thought you was Tori. <laughs> oh, oh, see, you, you think she playing, huh? Wait, wait a minute, I got so scared, I start talking in third person. No, Kevin, don't, he, he don't think she playing. He, he just don't know where she at, it's dark in here, he can't see her. He, he don't like this game, he don't wanna play this no more. She knows how to push my buttons, man. God, she gets mad. Like, I remember she told me one time that I better not come home and go to sleep. <laughs> the hell is that, you know? How are you supposed to be in love with somebody? You tell them that they better not come home and go to sleep. She told me she was gonna choke me with a dirty sock until my eyes popped out. <laughs> a dirty sock? Damn. That's not even a weapon. I was pissed off, because we had clean socks right there in the drawer. You can't grab a clean sock at least? She's selfish too, man. That's another thing that irks me. She's real selfish. Like, you know, everything has to be for her or about her, you know? Like, nothing could be for me. You know, we the same height, so we wear the same size and clothes, you know? <laughs> Every once in a while, I lend her a shirt, a pair of jeans. I don't mind, I'm a nice guy, you know? I get mad because I can't go shopping by myself. You know, she gotta come with me. But what she does is, she'll see something that she likes in the store, and what she'll do is she'll convince me to buy it for myself so she can take it later, you know? <laughs> I'm just too stupid to figure it out at the time, you know. Oh, babe, you know, you should get that shirt. That's nice, that's cute, that'll look good on you. The tube top? Yeah, everybody wearing those. You can get away with that. <laughs> My dumb ass brought it, wore it to the family reunion, you know. My uncle got mad, but what the hell you got on a tube top for? Huh? What you talking about? It make my back and my stomach look nice. That's the only thing I had to match this skirt. That's all I had in the house. <laughs> she told me she liked it. Like, she liked to argue with me when she naked. <laughs> Why do women do that? I can't argue with you when you butt-ass naked. How I'ma do that? How I'ma be angry up here when he happy? I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. Cause then he'll be confused. You know, we'll start arguing. He's like, take it, man, take it. I'm like, no, not this time. She's trying to turn us against each other. I see what's going on. <laughs> you were here before she was, all right? We'll always have each other. We'll always have each other. <laughs> I remember one time she got me so mad we got into a fist fight. We actually got into a fist fight. I'm gonna tell you something. You know how you know when you lost a fight to your woman? When the cops come to your house and ask you, do you wanna press charges? <laughs> That's how you know it didn't go like you planned, you know? Cause the cop came and he was so worried. He's like, oh my God, who would do? Listen, sir, are you okay? Do you wanna press charges? And I was like, well, you need to be asking her that. He's like, well, from the looks of things, no, I don't, okay? <laughs> Look at your face for crying out loud. And she was in the background like, yeah, look at his face. Tori beat his ass, didn't she? <laughs> I 
You know, that threw the cop off. He's like, well, who the hell is Tori and how many of them is it? And I was like, well, uh, sir, that, that's her. She talks in the third person from time to time. You know? He was like, look, let me tell you something, all right? You are a grown little man, okay? <laughs> Nobody should put their hands on you like this. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you don't press charges, she's gonna be back on the streets doing the same damn thing again. Now, sir, we need her off the streets. For God's sakes, look at your face, please. And I was like, well, if, if it's that bad, I guess I should press charges, you know? And he was like, look, do you got a place where you can stay tonight? And I said, well, I, I can go with my mom if I need to. He was like, well, good, good. Matter of fact, you need to go pack a bag. I'm gonna walk with you to make sure she don't attack you again. <laughs> And she got mad. She's like, oh, y'all gonna arrest Tori? Huh? Y'all just gonna put Tori in jail? Why would you do that, Kevin? And I was like, why? Why? Because I'm a grown little man, according to Officer Jones. For God's sakes, look at my face! <laughs> <laughs> I had to break up with after that though, man. We broke up for a little while. We did. Broke up for like two weeks. I was single for two weeks. I tried to date everybody in the world. I swear to God I did. I was lonely though, man. Because I'm gonna tell you, you ever notice that when you're in a relationship, everybody wants you. Everybody, everybody wanna talk to you. But the minute that you're single, don't nobody even wanna look at you, you know. Know how I knew I was becoming a loser? I went to the movies by myself. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I went to the movies by myself. That's how you know when you're at that ultimate loser point in your life. Especially if you go see a comedy by yourself, you know. Because you can never laugh by yourself. You got to intervene with someone else's date. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know y'all was kissing. I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry. So I had to find somebody, man. I had to date somebody. Met this one older woman. Met an older woman. And you know what my problem with her was? She wouldn't let me be a man. Like, you know, sometimes you need to be a man. You need to do manly type stuff, you know. You go to a restaurant, you want to order your own food and drinks because that's what men do. We get to the restaurant, the waiter comes. He's like, sir, what would you like to drink? Uh, he'll have a double shot of Jack and Coke. Uh, uh, Miss Jones, I can't drink that. That burned my chest. I can't. I, I can't put that down. Shut up and stop being a bitch. Oh my God. I'm 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 gonna take that with the double shot of chest. With a, with a straw. Can I have a straw, please? Get a straw. That'll be good. She did a bunch of stuff that messed with me mentally. Like she kissed me with her eyes open. I can't stand that. It felt like I was being set up, you know? <laughs> Who the hell do you see? Is Tori in here? Where is she? Come out, Tori. Just irked me a little bit. You know what my problem is? I think I try to impress women too much. That's a big problem I got. I do. I really do. I try to impress women way too much. Like, I went out and brought a big ass truck just to impress women, you know. Did you know that everybody looks tall in a truck? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I had to find out the hard way, you know, because I like to flirt. And one day I was at the stoplight and I saw this girl. I was like, damn, baby, you look good. Why don't you pull over? Let me talk to you for a second. She's like, all right, he kind of cute. Her, her girlfriend high five. Tch, tch, they was happy, you know. <laughs> She's like, all right, well, get out. Come talk to me. And I can't get out my truck, you know. I got to jump out, right? <laughs> and what was bad is that when I jumped out, I didn't have a good landing. I stumbled a little bit, you know? And all I heard was, oh my God, he doesn't have any knees. And they just pulled off. <laughs> my face hit the side of the door. I was like, I got knees. I just, I'm holding them up. Look, I swear to God, it was a bad jump. I didn't stick it. <laughs> you know, in gymnastics, you. And you don't move. I, uh, uh, uh. She didn't like that too much. 
I think if I was tougher, I would have better luck. Because for some reason, women like tough guys, you know. They like tough guys. Not that tough, man. I'm not. Like, for some reason, women don't feel safe with me, you know. Like, so you're kind of a big guy. If a woman sees you, she'll say, oh, I can't wait. If something happens, I know I can just grab you and we'll be safe. It's not really the same with me, you know. It's like, if something happened, we should both get the hell out of here. It's like, <laughs> we should just run, that's all. You know what, you're right. I, yeah, we should. <laughs> Tell you what, I hope you fast, because I am. I'm going to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Just not tough enough, man. I'm not. You know why I think I'm not that tough? Because of my mom. My mom was real religious, you know. My mom was strict bringing me up. And because of that, yeah, I'm a little sweet little kid. I'm a mama's boy. I really am. The thing is, my mom is over-religious. Gosh, she's over-religious. You ever meet somebody that's over-religious, talk about God all the time, or blame everything on the devil? Yeah, that's my mom. Everything is the devil's fault, you know. Baby, that ain't nothing but the devil. That's the damn devil, baby. That's all that is. And it's like, it's at the point now where you can't have a conversation with this woman. Because if you say something she don't agree with, she makes it seem like it's not you talking, it's the devil, you know. <laughs> and I had to explain to her, I was like, Ma, you gotta understand, I'm older now, I got my own opinion, okay? I'm not gonna agree with everything you say. Sometimes I'm, I'm gonna think what I wanna think. And I know when she started yelling, she was like, let him go, devil! <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Let him go, devil, take me instead! What are you talking about? This ain't the devil. Yes, it is. My baby would never talk to me like that. And she started flicking holy water at me, right? Just like that. <laughs> and when she flicked the holy water, I got mad and cursed. I was like, man, you know what? This is bull. I'm leaving. And she flicked some more and it got in my eye. And when it got in my eye, it started stinging. I was like, oh my God, it sting. I might be the devil. You know what I was like, She's like, boy, you ain't no devil. That's bleach. Don't you ever curse at me. I'll beat your little ass in this house. <laughs> I was bad, though, man. That's my mom was like that. I was too bad. I used to make my mom pass out. Seriously, I drove my mom crazy when I was a child. She used to pass out because she had high blood pressure. So my mom would get mad, her blood pressure would rise, and she would just pass out. You, know? you could always tell when she was going to pass out because the sentences would stop making sense. You know, she would just be yelling. You know, uh, Kevin, uh, take your foot. Uh, off the ref boy, and um, put it in the pizza box before I smack. <laughs> she would just pass out all the time. I just wish I was smarter, man. I saw. I wish I was really smarter. Like I wasn't that smart as a kid. I was dumb. I was. I can admit it. I don't care. Think what you want to think. Not that many people are honest with themselves. I was dumb. I was. There. There. I said it. So what? I couldn't do math, man. I couldn't do math to save my life. I remember one time my mom got so frustrated with me because I couldn't get a math problem that she called me dumb. You know? She started yelling at me. You know? Kevin! Look at me, boy! All right? Now you cannot be this damn dumb. You can't be. It's impossible, Kevin. Nobody's this stupid, boy. Now look at me, all right? It's simple math, Kevin. It's simple. Simple math, all right? One plus one. Okay? One plus one, Kevin. That's all it is. Add them up. Add them up, boy. Do you hear me? You add them up, Kevin, and what? do you get? <laughs> you ever give your mom the I'm thinking face? You know. uh, th 13, 14. Boy, shut the hell. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut, uh, shut up. Okay? You got this one and this one. That's what you got. You got this one and this one. Like the matter she would get, her mouth would just get tight. You hear, you hear what I'm telling you? <laughs> huh? Do you hear what I'm telling you, boy? Because I swear if you don't, boy, it's going to be something. Now look at me, all right? You got this one and this one, Kevin. The one and one. You put them together. You put them together like this and you add them up. Okay, you add them up, Kevin. 
and what do you get? an imaginary friend. Everybody had imaginary friends, though. When you were a kid, everybody had an imaginary friend. They did. You know what? I don't think parents should allow their kids to have imaginary friends. I don't. Because that just means that your child is a step closer to being crazy. <laughs> it does. That's all it means. It means your child is one step closer to losing his damn mind. You know? Honestly, this is where I think black people and white people, this is where I think we're different at. I do. I think we're all really different here. Because white people, when their kids have imaginary friends, they, they go along with it, you know? They think he's special. He's imaginative. He's gonna be somebody, yeah. <laughs> Black people is not the thing. It's not the same. We think he's stupid, that's all. It's no game at all. We think he's dumb. <laughs> White people play, you know? Little boy will come out. Hey, mommy, hey, look, look what Andy's doing. Look, look what Andy's doing. <laughs> Well, where, where is he, honey? I don't see him. Is he hiding from me? I don't, I don't, I don't think he wants to play with me. Where, where is he? You can't see him because he's on your back, mommy. Oh my God, oh. Oh my God, he's heavy. Wow, look. I can, I can, I can barely stand up. Look at my legs shaking. Oh my God. He's, He's so heavy. Is he hungry, honey? Let's, let's feed him brownies. Let's go feed him. <laughs> the mom bakes brownies, comes out and feeds him. Here, does he like them? They fall on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he loves them, mommy. He likes them. It's great. <laughs> now, I don't give a damn what you say. Anytime a child comes at you and stares at you without blinking, get the hell out the house. Something get ready to happen. <laughs> he got a bomb or something in there. Run. That's all I'm saying. But it doesn't happen the same with black people. It's not the same, you know. Black people is different. A little boy would come out. Yeah. Hey, hey, mom. <laughs> mom. Mom. Because black people don't really listen to their kids that much. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> look, look what Malcolm doing, mom. He crazy. Look at him playing and stuff. Look how crazy he is. Well where, well, where the hell is Malcolm at? <laughs> he, he right here on the couch telling me jokes and stuff. He's silly, mom. <laughs> he, he on my couch. He on my couch. <laughs> come here. Come here, Spoon. Come here. I don't have my glasses on. You see somebody on that damn couch? <laughs> yeah, I know damn well I ain't crazy. I know I ain't seen nobody. Uh, what, what's he telling you, baby? What's he saying to you? He telling me to say, no, come here. Don't tell mommy from there. Come tell mommy in her ear. I want to know. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. What, what did he say to you, baby? Tell me right here in my ear. I'm laughing already. I know he's crazy. Come here. What did he say? Get <laughs> your dumb ass upstairs. Get off the steps. You can imagine where the hell Malcolm is, but you don't know what one plus one is, you dumb ass bastard. <laughs> That's been a great crowd. My name is Kevin Hart. <laughs>